Today I'm going to show you how to connect HASIO or Home Assistant via MQTT to a stepper motor connected to a Node MCU. This is part of my project to automate my chicken coop door. First of all you'll need a Node MCU and a stepper motor driver board. I'm using a ULN 2003 driver board and have connected the, the cables this way. This includes the power plus and power minus and then the four inputs. I'm also using a 28BYJ48 stepper motor, which plugs directly into the driver board. All of this can be picked up for about seven Australian dollars. The next stage will be to load some code onto your Node MCU. You'll need to download and install the Arduino software. I've used the code from osoyu.com for the MQTT stepper motor tutorial. In the Arduino software, you'll need to add additional support for the Node MCU board by clicking on File, Preferences, and then typing in the ESP8266 package into the Additional Boards Manager. Next, you'll need to install the board to allow additional board support for the Node MCU. Select Board Managers, and once it's loaded, search for ESP, and select and install the ESP8266 board. I've already got it installed in this video. There are also two libraries that you'll need to install, the pub sub client and stepper. These are used in this code and you'll need to install them. Click on sketch, include library, manage libraries. When this screen's loaded, search for PubSub and select the PubSub client and then install. You'll also need to install the stepper library. So search for stepper, locate the library and install it. Now you need to configure the board. First select the board and find Node MCU 1.0. I've already selected it. So then you've got some settings which could be upload frequency speed of 115200, CPU frequency of 80 MHz, flash size of 4M, and you shouldn't need to change any of the others, so just leave them as default. Once you've plugged in the Node MCU into your computer, select the port. In my case, it's coming up as COM5. Now, back in your Home Assistant configuration file, make sure you've added in the MQTT component and selected a password. You can write the password directly in here or use the secrets file as I've done. You can now see my code that I've taken from OSU and modded it, modified it for my network and home assistant device. First thing is change the Wi-Fi SSID and password to your network. The MQTT server is the IP address of your home assistant device. I don't think the client ID matters, so you can put anything in here. The username is the default Home Assistant MQTT username and password, and the one that was selected in the MQTT component in your configuration file. I've made some changes to the code, including adding a, a few additional options such as the clockwise and counterclockwise loop, that's values 3 and 4, which runs my stepper for 72 times. This is the amount that I need my stepper to spin for the chicken door to go fully up and down. I've also put a delay of 50 so that it gives the motor enough time to think and continues the revolution immediately. I've also added in another option to turn off the motor, value 0, as the stepper will stay on and stay in place at the end of the cycle unless directed to turn off. Finally, I've selected the subscription topic to be chicken door, which is what the home assistant will publish to. Just to make sure everything is fine, compile the sketch and then once complete, click Sketch and upload to the Node MCU.
you can open up the serial monitor to see if this device is successfully connecting to the Home Assistant's MQTT. As you can see, it's successfully connected. And now back in Home Assistant, I've made a few scripts which publish to the chicken door topic. These all correspond to the values in the code. So one and two for incremental spins, and three and four for longer spins. And then I've also put in the stepper off with a value of zero. So if you go back to the code, uh, this will correspond to each of those numbers in the configuration file. If you go back into Home Assistant and then execute the scripts, the serial monitor will recognize the command. I'm showing the step up and down and we'll speed through the counterclockwise loop and then the clockwise loop. And finally, the stepper off. Now I've also added a couple of automations to open and close the door. The first one is to close the chicken door at sunset. So if you go through to the automation section, This one uses the sun trigger for when it is sunset and it will call the chicken door close anti-clockwise loop script and then turn off the stepper. And then in the morning, I use the sun trigger for when it's sunrise and it will call the chicken door open to so the clockwise loop script and then turn off the stepper. And you can add a delay in there if your chickens don't go in or come out in time. So let's see this in action and connect up to the chicken door. First connect the driver board and then connect your power. So first we'll execute the step up script and then the step down script. And then the full up script. Unfortunately as you see the stepper motor is quite slow. I've made some changes in the code to speed it up slightly, but I haven't got very fast. Another option to speed this up to, is to increase the size of your DAO. And then finally, the full door down.
and then you can turn the stepper motor off. So that's it. This is a really cheap way to get a stepper motor working and connect it to your home assistant. I'm sure there'll be other uses besides a chicken door, so feel free to post a comment if you've got some other ideas. Thanks for watching!